Now, one interesting thing also about populations is that sometimes you will look at a group of people living in a certain area, but that's not going to be all of the people that exist. So, for example, I can do a census of the people living in the U.S., but that's not the human population, so there are other populations living around that population. You have Canada, you have Mexico, they have borders with us, and you also have people from all over the world which can travel to the U.S. and sometimes stay. So that means that populations can sometimes interact with other populations uh, which are around them. Say, for example, a group of birds living in one patch of a forest can also interact with a group of birds living in another patch, or, or from different islands, for example, like it's represented on the top left. So this migration can occur between populations, and it means interchange of genes or people between one population and the other. And the closer the islands are together, of course, the greater this interchange is going to be. But the interesting thing about that, then, is that if you want to understand a population, sometimes you have to look at other populations which interact to some degree with that population. To some degree, they will be isolated, but in a way, they will also interact with each other. And this brings us to a concept that's called metapopulations. That in ecology is very important, especially in ecosystem ecology and conservation ecology. Because when ecologists are trying to determine whether or not a population of an organism is going to survive, they sometimes have to look at how many are living in several patches of the ecosystem. Because unfortunately, humans have destroyed much of the ecosystems around the world and made a lot of these them become fragmented. We talked about that in the ecosystem lecture series. Which means, if you work to study the population of this organism, you have to see, look at each patch of the forest, for example, to see where, where, who's living in each patch. And to see if there is still fluctuation or, or traveling between one patch and the other. But remember, the more patchy you make it, and the bigger the amount of space between the patches, the harder it's going to be for animals from one patch to go to the other which is going to reduce the flux between one population and the other and make each population become more isolated and therefore smaller and more likely to actually go extinct. So all of these are important concepts when you're studying ecology because metapopulations is looking at the whole of the, of, of the ecosystems which are interacting with each other. So for example, you can consider the American population a population, but you can also think of it the fact that the American population is changing not so much because of the birth rates or the death rates within this population, but because it's interacting with other populations around the world with processes like migration, which are constantly adding more people of different kinds of mixes to the American population. So you can look at just the American population, or you could look at the world as a whole. And that is, brings us the idea of, of metapopulations. And histor historical biologists, which look at genetic uh, mutations in the human race can also use that to trace the, the patterns of movements across populations. The same too is about, true about animals in the, in the wild. You can see how the genes are flowing from one population to the other and this is how we also we determine the history of the migrations of the human race from Africa where they evolved to all around the world as you see in the map at the bottom. And we'll talk a little more about this when we do the evolution of the human race later in the, in the year. But the interesting thing about all of this is that if you want to talk about populations, you can look at each population individually, but it's also important to look at several populations if these populations are interacting with each other in order to really understand what's happening with them.